Alright, so for today I'll be discussing the superpower of flight or flying. This is a incredibly versatile and useful superpower um, because obviously you could use it to fly somewhere, hopefully very quickly. Like I want to go to school or to work, I can just start at my house and fly all the way over there. Obviously, a way to make it not as good or, or a limitation would be the speed at which you can fly. Like, if you can fly slower than, like, a walking or jogging pace, then maybe it might, might not be as good as you had originally thought. Like, obviously, being able to fly at the speed of, like, a car can drive would be a lot better. But even if you could fly at the speed of walking or jogging, um, there's the added benefit that of height, like you could fly over things. So even though you're moving very slowly, if there's a river or like a big hole, you can fly over it regardless of like what speed you're flying. Um, another big limitation for uh, the superpower of flight would be how high you could fly. Um, so like maybe if you can only fly like one or two feet off the ground, that might not be very good. Um, even if you could, let's say, fly hundreds of thousands of feet off of the ground, um, one of the difficulties of flight is, let's say I want to fly, like, as, fly as, as, as high as airplanes can fly. That would be not a good idea, because I don't have the superpower of, like, extended or better lungs, so, like, if I were up 10,000 or feet in the air, or however high airplanes fly, the air would not be breathable for me it would probably be too cold so you'd have to have like a lot of other powers other not just flying in order to make like flying at the height of airplanes work so like you'd probably limit be pretty limited to flying pretty low to the ground um since you wouldn't be able to protect yourself from heavy wind or that there's so little air that you can't breathe so Regardless of how high you are able to fly with your power, that would just be a big limitation, and it's not something that people would probably um, think about very often when they think about flying, because they're like, oh, I love how Superman can fly, he's so cool, I want to be able to fly like Superman, but obviously Superman has a bunch of other powers um, besides just flight, so uh, you really have to think about that when using the flight superpower. So another problem with the power of flight is the law for restricted airspace for flying vehicles or like there's certain places that they're not allowed to fly or land. Obviously laws would be slightly different since a person with the power of flight is not the same as a person in a flying vehicle. Um, but definitely exceptions would be made or entirely new laws for this person um, who has the power of flight, obviously they wouldn't be able to fly with their power into restricted airspace or no-fly zones, um, but I think they would have to have an entirely new set of rules. In a battle, the power of flight would be useful if you think you're going to lose, you can just fly away if you're outdoors. If you think you can win, it gives you great mobility. If you have a ranged weapon like a gun, uh, and you think you can beat your opponent and they're grounded so like they don't have the power of flight either, then that's great because they can't reach you and you can just shoot at them with your ranged weapon. Um, but if you don't have any ranged weapons, flying is still really useful uh, because you can dodge their attacks really easily by flying out of the way, or use like dive attacks where you can fly up really high and then slam into them, which is good in battle. And if you're flying anywhere with a good amount of people, there's the high likelihood that you're going to be seen because people have cell phones so they can like take videos of you and pictures. And I think, at least for me, that flying might even feel almost embarrassing, um, at least in the beginning, uh, to be seen while you're flying. I think for anyone with this superpower, you'd probably get used to it after a while, but um, I feel like it would definitely be very exposing uh, for, the, for the first bit. Alright, so if we can reach my like goal of 10,000 likes, I'll shave my face by the end of the week. So make sure to like and subscribe, and you'll see me in the next video. I won't be able to see you though.